This is Joseph Russell with the Daily Homesman Sports Report. Although they failed to make the NCAA tournament this year, the Memphis Tigers have now shifted their attention to winning the NIT, but it's easier said than done. Although St. John's comes into Wednesday night's contest with a 17-15 and record and 6-12 and in Big East play, don't let those numbers fool you. They have big wins earlier this season over Louisville and Notre Dame. The Red Storm is led by junior guard DJ Kennedy, who leads the team in both scoring and rebounding with 15 points and 6 rebounds per game. They also get contributions from junior guard Dwight Hardy, who is second in the team in scoring with 10.5 points per game. Although he's missed the last three games due to a sprained left knee he suffered March 2nd against Syracuse, Hardy is likely to not miss this NIT contest. The Red Storm also gets help from junior guard Paris Horn, who averages 9.2 points per game. One of the main keys for St. John's in this game is going to be their shooting from outside, as Kennedy, Hardy, and Horn all shoot 38% from behind the three-point line. Coach Norm Roberts' squad had a chance to make some noise in the Big East tournament with a first-round win over UConn. They then lost in a nail-biter to Marquette in the second round. The Tigers are going to have to be at the top of their game defensively, especially considering seven St. John's players average at least 6.5 points per game. But one thing the Tigers do have going for them is the home court advantage. St. John's is just 4-7 and seven away from home this season, while the Tigers have a 16-3 and three record in Memphis. If the Tigers hope to advance to the second round of the NIT, there are a few things they're going to have to do right. Will Coleman is going to have to be the dominant big man in this matchup, as he's put up against 6'8 forward Sean Evans. The two players are almost mirror images of one another, as they both average about 7 points and 6 rebounds per game. In addition, Tigers leading scorer Elliot Williams will have to break out of his scoring slump. He's averaged just 10 points per game in the Tigers' last two contests. If the Tigers come away with the victory over St. John's, it'll be the first step towards capturing their second overall NIT championship, the first of which they won in 2002. Tip-off is scheduled for 8 p.m. Wednesday night at FedEx Forum, and you can catch the broadcast live on ESPN2. And that's it for the Daily Homes and Sports Report, your on-campus source for Tiger sports.